It's technically a neutral site game, but Pfizer Forum was full of Badgers fans, hoping to see the team clinch its ticket to that sweet 16 game. Fox 6's Sam Kramer joins us live in the Deer District. And Sam, what's the feeling right now? Yeah, hi, Mary. Like you said, the air has been let out of the balloon. The Badgers fans still now just filing out because Purdue is still playing Texas in the later session, or later game of session, I should say. But earlier tonight, it sure felt like a mostly Badgers crowd could fuel a victory here to put Wisconsin into the Sweet 16, being that it is so close to Madison. Uh, but, you know, with tonight's result, they thought this game would go a lot differently. One, two, right ahead. If you want to win in the big dance, sometimes you have to bring your own band. It's so cool. I have goosebumps. My goosebumps have goosebumps. A pep rally before the Badgers' second round game painted the Deer District red with pride, giving fans a chance to propel their team to victory on a plaza that has a history of winning. We came down here as a kind of a staycation for spring break. Um, thought this would be the environment to be in today with the sun. So far, it's been exactly what we wanted. But once the game actually started, excitement and confidence gave way to nerves and anxiety in the beer garden. The badges always kind of keep you on the edge of your seat, you know, so it's, uh, it goes back and forth. I mean, that's the great thing about the NCAA tournament is that you never know what can happen. The game didn't end the way they would like, but fans still enjoying the experience of an NCAA tournament game so close to home. Take a look around. This is what it's about. And look at the weather, gorgeous. You'd rather be sitting here than sitting inside. So again, really, if you had the recipe for a trip to the Sweet 16, the Badgers had everything they wanted here, a home crowd, mostly dominant in so close to home. The result just did not go their way. We did hear from some fans after the game. Uh, they shared some messages with hopes and really thank yous for players, including Brad Davis, and we'll hear from them coming up tonight at 10. For now, we're live tonight in the Deer District. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. It is so hard uh, to lose sight of the great season that they had, Sam. So we appreciate that. Yeah, our hats go off. We'll see you a little bit later tonight. Thank you.